The first week is the week you definitely have to kind of earn your respect with the veterans of the team. And I think I've been doing a pretty good job of earning their respect. You kind of got to stay out of like all the drama and stuff of the team and you just got to focus on what you need to do as a freshman because honestly you don't have that many responsibilities but the responsibilities you do have you need to keep to the team. Better but you're too high. Honestly I don't think there is a comparison at all. High school compared to college is totally different. It's a big transition. Uh, high school uh, you don't, you're not on the field as long. You're on the field maybe three hours. Here at college, you're on the field all day, you know, and uh, you have to love it. You have to love it to, to do this. If you don't love it, it's not going to work for you. Everything was a lot slower paced and it wasn't as much physicality in college. Everything's quick, 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 and there's a lot of, there's a lot more physical taxation on your body. It's definitely a huge jump between high school and college. It's not as physical, because in high school you're hitting, but in college, the players are so much bigger and faster, they're avoiding hitting and tackling and all that type of stuff. The first four days, I was, I was dying. I was, I've never felt that way before. My legs were killing me, my back was done. Every morning when I got out of bed, I just wanted to crawl back in and cry myself to sleep. It was bad. But after you get used to it, it's definitely a good time. It's a lot hotter in Louisiana, but the air is a lot thinner here, so it hurt a lot when I run out here. It's horrible. I've been a lot sore. I mean, it's so much time you're putting out on the field than in high school. You never put as much time out on the field as you put in high school out here. I feel like we're all brothers, you know. Even when I came up here on my visit, you know, I felt like there was a huge, there was going to be a huge bond. You know, I saw how the coaches interacted with each other, how the players inter interacted with each other. You know, I just felt like it was home. You know, Our teammates were closer than ever. We're closer than the people I went to high school with, and the people I went to high school with, I've been knowing forever. So it's kind of family environment at UNC. If I if I had if I had just somebody I had to look up to, it'd be Bump. Because you know, he takes charge of his defense, gets his he gets his defense riled up and all. You know he gets them all excited. He gets him uh, he gets him uh, in tune with the defense and uh, he just gets everything rolling. You know he gets everybody in the zone. Definitely, Jake and Thrall. They're two of the best offensive linemen that we have, and they're the two guys I'm going to try to sponge off of as much as I can while they're seniors and I'm freshmen to try to get as much knowledge as I can out of them. Will and Jace, they they help me out a lot with everything. I mean. They're the best upperclassmen you can have, to be honest with you. My personal goals for this year would at least to be travel with the team, make the travel squad so I get to go. It's all the away games, suit up on the sidelines. That was my main goal for this season. I just want to help put my team in the best position to win, uh, have a good record. Um, I'm just, I'm just uh, do my best. I'm gonna just work hard and uh, see, see uh, what our freshman class can do to help this team. My goal is just to uh, up my effort and do go as hard as I can every practice, every time. That's my goals, and we'll go from there. Well, I am. I'm a family guy. Mostly, I'm, I'm a mama's guy. I'm a mama's boy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a mama's boy. So <laughs> it was it's it was it was tough at first, you know. But like, I mean, you gotta look at the big picture, you know. Like, I'm on a mission. I'm out here to get an education and to hopefully make it to the next level. So you know, I just. I just, you know, I call him when I can. I talk to him, you know, when I'm when I'm feeling kind of homesick, and uh, when I get off the phone, I mean, I feel a little bit better. I get a good, nice rest, and then I wake up in the morning. I know everything's all right. I just do what I need to do on the football field.